Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.20.6, an awesome update that adds upon some of the things that we got last week, as well as providing us with new information in regards to Unturned 4.0. I know that there's been a lot of gossip going around with Unturned 4.0, and Nelson has openly announced that he's began more seriously planning the foundation for Unturned 4.0, giving us some exciting things to take a look at. But before we get into that, I'd like to cover some of the new things that were added this week, starting with improvements to the map and the compass. Now, last week, if you do recall, the compass was added, and it is a fantastic addition for when you are playing PvP with friends for... Let's say, example, you are getting shot at by a guy by that tree. Trying to explain that to your friend is a little tricky uh, because there's nothing to reference with. Now, with the compass, you could easily point out that he's at bearing 143, and your teammate, who's right next to you, will be able to instantly go to bearing 143 and find that tree. And uh, then both of you can tag team to figure out how to kill that one enemy. Now, there is one problem with that, and that is in the case of you not being next to your friend when you find an enemy. Let's say your friend is on that hill, and you are on this hill, and you try and point out that there's an enemy by that tree, it may be bearing 143 for you, but if you call that out and he's over there, he's gonna be looking in that direction. So you'd have to do some like fancy mathematics to figure out, or so he's more like a bearing 65 for him, whatever. Now you can just mark on the map where you want to point out and it will pop up both on the map of your friends and on their compass so i can point out the general direction that they're at and now this will pop up on my and their compass if i strafe back and forth you'll notice that the waypoint is changing based on my position now this also obviously has all kinds of other uses. If you're wanting to point out the location of a base, you can mark that there's a base in this lake here, and all your friends will be able to see where you pointed that out, and everyone will see it on their compass, and they'll be able to all head to that one direction in a coordinated effort. There is no complicated communication that needs to go on. Super, super easy. Also, if your teammates do not have compasses, um, it may not show the waypoint on their little like uh, bearings down below because they don't have that, but they still will be able to see your marking if they open up the map and also you'll be able to see their markings they'll be popping up you know mine says me like big boom right next to it my marker is blue you can also change the color of your waypoint in the survivor groups menu it would probably be a good idea to change your waypoint color now so that if you start playing with friends you're not all going to have the same waypoint color which might complicate things a little bit Overall, the addition is awesome. My only suggestion is that we should have a button down here to clear your waypoint on the screen. You can clear it by right-clicking on it, but it took an embarrassing amount of time to figure that out myself. I'd rather not talk about that. Now, this other addition is a new furniture type that's adaptive. It's kind of interesting, and I don't think it's very useful, but certainly more furniture inside your home is always nice to decorate the walls and such. And that is the wall clock. The ID is 1509 and if it is powered, which I think I have a tree somewhere around here with a generator on it, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot. I mean, it's, it's a yellow generator. Ah, there it is. And now you can take your wall clock and place it on the wall in the same way that you do for a torch or a flare or anything like that. And once it's placed on, you'll notice it needs a power source, and that's why this is here. Uh, and it will display the time that it is, constantly updating in real time. Uh, if that seems right, it must be morning, right? So it's like uh, 945 in the morning or so. I mean, it should be morning, right? So it's... Because it that obviously isn't going to be displaying AM and PM, but, um, you know, that seems about right. The sun positioning at 9 o'clock in the morning, I mean, or maybe 10, it's kind of getting closer to 10 o'clock now. Or no, it's 8.45. Yeah, okay, well, all right, you know what, it's meant for decoration, so maybe if you have your whole house powered already for all your, like, oil derricks and stuff, you could always just put down one of these little wall clocks on the wall, and then you will have it. And lastly, we got an improvement on arena servers where the map displays the compactor's target circle and the compactor's current position. You'll notice in this case, this is where the circle is, and this is where it's closing in on. 
Now that does pretty much cover everything that was added in Unturned 3.0 this week. Now moving on to the topic of Unturned 4.0, the next step for Unturned as a whole. Very exciting. Nelson says that this week he began more seriously planning the foundation for Unturned 4.0. You might have seen some of this on the forum already, and he's hoping to have further details to share soon. Now what he means by the forum is basically two things. One, the Unturned 4.0 wishlist Trello, and the new post that he posted yesterday in regards to the player models for Unturned 4.0. Starting with yesterday's post, he said he started experimenting with a few different possible designs for a new character model, showing this image where he has different prototype character models positioned next to the current Unturned 3.0 model. Now here on the left, you'll notice that the Unturned 3.0 model is very square and large and boxy and fat, and some people didn't really like it that much. That was possibly the biggest complaint about the Unturned 3.0 mesh was that it was just a little too fat. So that's one of Nelson's first areas of improvement. You'll notice that he kind of moved along with Rev 1, 2, 3, and 4, showing <laughs> the first one where he says horribly mutated, and you'll notice it's got a big thigh gap and weirdly shaped arms. It's a little strange looking. Now Nelson's favor, as well as mine, is the revision number 4. It does seem to be the most well-rounded, proportionate shape for a character. It's slightly less muscular than revision number 3. You'll also notice that he has slightly smaller feet. Overall, pretty good looking character. I'm very excited to see the smaller hands come back for Unturned 4.0. It's always nice to see a little bit of change. Now the target height for all the characters regardless is going to be 190 centimeters, which is about six foot two. And also Nelson is looking to create a feminine mesh so that you could choose between a male character shape and a female character shape. You'll notice that the feminine revision is in the back behind revision number four. And here is a closer version of that. The main difference differences to take note of are the smaller ends to the arms and the feet, creating the illusion of generally skinnier limbs, and also the hourglass shaped torso. Now they are minor differences, but that paired with longer hair and a more feminine looking face will really be able to differentiate between male and female characters created in Unturned 4.0 and really give us a lot of diversity when it comes to character creation in Unturned. Overall, super exciting to see Unturned 4.0 being more seriously discussed. Nelson also wants your guys' thoughts in regards to these character models. If you have any improvements or adjustments that you'd like to see to any of these character models, put them in the comment section down below. Nelson also pointed out that he experimented with simple feet and hands and fingers like that, but didn't like them and doesn't want to go in that direction. So if you're thinking of having hands and fingers that will be able to interact with smaller items in the game, uh, that's a no-go. Unturned's main theme are big, blocky fists, and we can expect it to stay that way for Unturned 4.0. Lastly, and that is the topic of the Unturned 4.0 wishlist Trello, I will put that in the description down below. There is a ton of really exciting information in there. Keep in mind that this is just a wishlist for Nelson. This is not a development path or anything like that for Unturned 4.0. This is just things that both he and arguably the community would like to see in Unturned 4.0. For example, some things that you can see on the Unturned 4.0 wishlist in regards to gameplay is that Nelson would like to see the weight of items affecting stamina and movement throughout the game. He'd also like to have domesticated livestock so that you can get food that way. Uh, he'd like to completely redo the physics system for vehicles to have superior handling and suspension as well as gear shifting audio with tire squeals and kicking up dirt behind your car. Overall, there are just a ton of cards to go through in there and just really exciting to see what Unturned 4.0 could look like. The link to that will be down below. Once again, that was everything that was added and discussed in Unturned 3.20.6. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out. Mm -hmm.